Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Bitcoin. Let's still take another look into the charts and um, all time highs for the S&P 500 again. Uh, all time highs for the Nasdaq. Um, Nasdaq top 100 it is. Um, the Dixie had a little bit of reject of this trend line. This one right here. Um, I mean, looks strong, but basically we're between these two lines and a break of whichever line, you know, trend line, uh, sorry, horizontal line over here besides the next direction. We're not really uh, trading on it, but we're just keeping an eye on it for correlations with Bitcoin and anything else. Uh, taking a quick look at the ES1 futures, and I mean, it is just up only, the S&P 500. Um, volume declining, um, not looking at it here, but I mean, it is dangerous, it is up only, and when places like that happen, like over here, you know, sharp corrections are coming you know over here this was of course uh, closing the borders um with rona um and that is about it um bitcoin right now i mean we're basically going sideways all the time over here with negative funding and i mean for me it is more attractive to um, look for lungs in cases like that um right now we are having quite some resistance over here uh, these highs aren't over here, these highs aren't over there, over there. And I mean, right now we're trying to get there. Um, possibility for me seems to be this another higher low and go over there. So make sure your stops are below over here um, or you take proper, like, yeah, proper risk management. Um, but that's something I am expecting over here. Funding, however, still look good, but right now, you know. It is turning positive a little bit. Let me refresh this page real quick. And I mean, yeah, predicted, you know, it is, I mean, the funding rates are rising a little bit, you know, it's not that bad. Uh, taking a look at the fear index, still a lot of fear. Um, I mean, stuff kind of looks good. Uh, Ethereum does look good here as well. We of course had this break from the all time high retested that, that trend line over there we're on the four hour that is basically for me the most important um time frame there is and why is the four hour the most important for me um well because derivatives you know bybit and bitmax um do every eight hours they do um uh, funding periods but funding periods are not uh, on the same hour, you know, they differ four hours from Bybit and Bitmax, the, the, uh, Bybit and Bitmax, you know, they differ four hours. So every four hour close, you know, you have uh, at least a funding period in it. Um, and that's why I really like the four hour. Um, also, if you trade with some leverage, trade on Bybit, um, make sure you, you sign up with my referral link. It's in the video description. You help me and you help yourself. And if you do so, you know, you can always hit my DMs with some questions. Um, and basically, Ethereum is looking very good, um, looking for a higher high over here. In the lower time frame, I mean, um, I would say this area over here at around uh, 2100, you know, um, is basically big support. We can see it on the volume area. This should be quite some good support um, if it goes there. Ethereum BDC looking quite good as well, um, looking very good over here. Made a higher low over here. Time to make a higher high. Um, it's good as, as, as long as they hold this one, you know, stops below this one if you're trading on it. But I think it is maybe consolidating before breaking up. Um, and then next resistance is over here. And that's basically about it for today. Um, can zoom in a little bit more. No, not needed. Um, this is what I'm expecting for uh, Bitcoin. Um, if people keep longing, you know, we will not go up. But if people, you know, start shorting again, you know, some more, it's very likely we'll go this route. Um, and that is about it. And I mean, the bearish case for Bitcoin is basically a big correction for the S&P 500, the ES1 futures. If these ones start correcting, you know, um, it's all over. And that is about it for today. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and make sure to use my referral link. See you guys again tomorrow.